It's Friday, fool, and you... Well, you, I don't know if you need any of these tools or not, but I think you're going to enjoy this tool haul nonetheless. All right, first up, this is just a quickie. You uh, already saw this Matco refiller in the previous tool haul. But the uh, replacement gauge for it showed up. So I figured I might as well show it off. Ta-da! Along the lines of uh, cooling pressure testers and uh, refillers, I promised that I had another haul along those lines coming for you. And here it is. Literally just showed up today. Now what this is, is the proto version of the master uh, cooling system pressure tester kit. Has all the adapters. So it's basically the same as that Blue Point expansion kit, except for it has three extra adapters. It's identical to the Mac kit. And as you can see, it comes with the pressure tester, or the, uh, the pump, I should say. And you've got all of your adapters. So the reason we went with Proto, the main reason really was cost. Uh, Tools Plus, I think it's toolsplus.com. Uh, their official name is Tools Plus Outlet. Uh, you know, internet retailer. Uh, had this on sale for about 420 bucks, which was way less than anywhere else, even with coupons. Um, so I ordered it. Uh, initially, it was on back order, but uh, it didn't take long for them to fill it. They estimated the beginning of May, and it actually showed up a little early. This is shipped straight from the Proto factory. Um, the other aspect of this kit is I've looked around, and typically there's a one-year, um, I think, OEM warranty on these. Um, the Mac Tools version of this has a one-year warranty. Now, according to Proto's website, and I took pictures of it, so I have documentation, if you click on the warranty link, it says lifetime warranty and there's no other uh, warranty information. So I interpret that as like, Proto is the only one to my knowledge offering this kit with a lifetime warranty. I could be wrong, but I took a picture of it, so we'll see how that goes. Hopefully we don't have to warranty any of these anytime soon, but uh, you never know. In case you didn't catch that part number, it's uh, JFF1700, it's the Proto version. I believe the Mac version has that 1700 in the name as well. All right, moving along. This is not new. I've had this for close to a decade now. It's an Astro Pneumatic Nutsert Riveter tool. I think some of you are gonna be familiar with this. But basically you put different mandrels based on the, uh, the, the size of the, of the, uh, the bolt, you know, slash uh, the Nutsert, which is gonna hold the bolt. And so you can rivet in basically, you know, threads that you can screw your, uh, your bolt into. Okay, this is actually uh, kind of obsolete. They don't use these type of uh, mandrels anymore. Uh, it takes a little while to, to change mandrels on this tool and to get it all set up. So a few years ago, Astro came out with an updated version of it. And I'll be right back with that. Yeah, so this isn't a direct uh, replacement or upgrade to that. What it is, is the 1452 model. So this can actually go up to a half inch uh, capacity. So you can do a half inch, and that's, that's the diameter of the thread. So you're talking about like a three quarter inch bolt head um, and also 19 millimeter. The other one, I believe it goes up to 5 16 And again, that's the thread. So what it comes with is the hand riveter. And as you can see, this is, it's a little bit more heavy duty than the other one. Um, it's made to be able to, to generate that extra uh, force that you need to press in the larger nut certs. It also comes with some of your nut certs here, M8 through M12, and again, 5 16 through half inch, uh, third, through that half inch. Sorry, NC13 would be the thread, the threads there, coarse threaded. So um, this does, there's also smaller sizes in this, which come in that other kit. Um, now, if you own the old kit in the red case, like those mandrels were not, will not work with this. It's actually a different style that accommodates this quick change feature at the top. And I'll go over 
I'm sure I'll do a video or something about how to how to use these. You know, both the old one and the new one. But let me show you this real quick. That one must be installed. And this guy. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so basically now you're looking at something like this. That's the mandrel. Um, and this, this is the, uh, what do they call this? Uh, the nose piece, the nose piece, yeah. So that would be an M10. As you can see, it looks like that. And by the way, if you don't own the, uh, the mandrel and the nose piece, so these are interchanged. This is it. Inter the mandrels and nose pieces for this are interchangeable with the new 1442. So you can order the smaller sizes. Of course, you want to be careful because this has a little bit extra leverage. Um, but they are not compatible with the old 1442. So this is what they look like on the old 1442. Now the sizes that are in the smaller kit, not included here, are M5, M6. I believe that's it for the metric. Um, there's quarter inch for SAE, and also 10, 24. And uh, I think there are a couple other sizes that you could get. Uh, they're kind of your non-standard sizes. They don't come in any of the kits. And um, you can order those. So I, I'd read that you can order them directly from Zorro, or not Zorro, uh, from Astro, if you go to their website. Um, I'm not, I haven't confirmed that. I know that they were for sale on Amazon some of the mandrels that are not in this set. But um, right now they seem to be on back order. And if you don't, if you don't already own this style, you're gonna want the mandrel and the nose piece. Be careful and don't just buy the mandrel. So two more pieces of business here. First of all, um, both of these kits, this and the 1442, come with uh, a nice uh, starting selection of the nut certs themselves. And the other thing is, the reason I, I, I bought this is I, I had wanted the larger capacity, um, you know, for some time. And uh, I tried to find mandrels that would fit the, you know, the smaller one. But I think in the end, it would have really been pushing the limits of that. Um, so I came across this. It was actually on sale for $40 at CPO Outlets. And if you sign up for an account, they will also um, send you a coupon code for free shipping. So basically, I got this entire kit, including probably the equivalent of $40 in nut certs, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> you get a lot of nut certs, let me just put it that way. So yeah, the whole kit with the nut certs for $40 shipped. Uh, that was too much of a bargain to pass up. All right, next up, um, I've been wanting a master bushing, bushing set for <laughs> some time. I went with this model from OTC. I got this from Zorro with a coupon. It's about the best price I could find for it. It's comparable. The coupon basically brought the OTC uh, in, a, in line with, if not a little bit cheaper than some of the, uh, the other sets like the power built. So I stuck with OTC. Anyway, there you can see, it's a pretty comprehensive kit. Uh, the, bushing, the bushing cups or discs, and then also three of the drivers to fit them. And these are cool because you, you can just click, it's kind of like that snap-on seal driver, you just click it in there and then you go to town. It seems to be really nice quality. Uh, all your sizes are laid out. And the part number on that is 4410. All right, this next fell is a beast. I mean, it's so heavy, I feel like it's going to dent my hood. Um, I'll read you off the part number. You can kind of see it. It's 27212. And what this is... Get open. Oh, there we go. So basically suspension bushing uh, installation kit. And removal, I believe. Yeah. So this is gonna handle your, your heavier duty bushings and obviously, you know, the just these adapters right here are super super useful. You can use them on a press, you know, you can use them with this kit. Um it's a really, really versatile, heavy-duty set, and this is made by OEM Tools. Um, believe it's a lifetime warranty. In fact, you might say it on the box. Mm, yep, lifetime warranty. And we got this uh, through AutoZone. So uh, on the website, they're having 20% off for anything over $100. 
So we got the 20% off of this, which was already on sale for $249. Brought it down to $199, shipped. Um, and we actually ended up having our local uh, AutoZone match it just to give them the business. But yeah, you can get this off the website. Pretty nice kit. We don't absolutely need this. Uh, my coworker has another version of this. Um, the one that's made by, I think it's called Private Brands. And I believe it's rebranded by Bluepoint and a bunch of others. But I wanted to get my own cam and crankshaft installer kit. And I just like the fact these, you know, these cups are super used for all, for all kinds of stuff. Um, and I like the fact that the OTC one, again, I got this off Zorro with a coupon. So that brought it in line with uh, the private brands one, not the rebranded Bluepoint, which is quite a bit more expensive as you can imagine. Uh, but anyway, I like the fact that these are blue instead of gold. And the kit is identical to that kit, that private brands kit. So this is the OTC. Uh, let's see if I can find the part number. I think that's the part number right there, 7196. All right, one more set of specialty tools before we get into the, uh, the hand tool haul. So uh, first of all, another, yet another shout out to CP, the tool addict. Uh, I had seen this set, a smaller version of this set in a recent Mako flyer. I had wanted to pick these up. You know, basically these are your fuse savers. So when you're testing fuses for shorts and whatnot, um, you can use these instead of blowing fuses. Pretty nice. This thing is optional. Basically it makes a buzzing sound or it alerts you. But yeah, but basically it has a buzzer on it. Um, things have a little switch on the top that you can, you know, it's gonna pop, you know, when it blows and then you can reset it and go back to work. Yeah, so this is made by IPA. The part number is 8016. Uh, to get this master kit, branded uh, Matco is about $300. Yeah, I looked it up. And um, I got this from Zorro, once again, with a coupon. Uh, it came out to about 147. Another item from Zorro. Now I do have the, uh, I do have the uh, Lyle, um, Re, uh, relay uh, the tester kit, you know, those different colored uh, relay testers. I, or I have the two smaller kits, I don't have the master kit, but um, I just thought these were pretty cool. So these are basically your relay bypass switches. It's got the switch, and this particular set um, has the, uh, you know, has the amp loop around it, or so you can put your, uh, you know, your amp clamp on there. This is also IPA. Same company as the fuse saver, Main USA. I think all their stuff is, or most of it. Anyway, there's the part number, 9038A. If you find 9038, it's just the switches without the loop. Um, again, after a coupon on Zorro, this ended up costing about the same as the switches without the loop everywhere else, so I opted for the loop. All right, if you made it this far and you're a fan of hand tool hauls, uh, the rest of this video is for you. So first up, I went on KC Tool and I saw that this was on sale. It's the uh, Stavilla. Stavilla. There's the part number. Made in Germany. Basically, you're you're locking, uh, you know, quarter inch drive handle. It does not have the, uh, you know, it's it's not an extension with a handle around it. Doesn't have that feature. They do make one, but it doesn't have the locking feature. I really like this locking feature. Uh, it works well. Haven't had an issue with it being bumped or anything. I have the uh, um, the master quarter inch set from Stavilla. Very nice. And I also picked these up. I was looking for a, a thinner pair of needle nose pliers. Um, just for reference, let me grab a pair. Let me grab a pair of snap-ons. You can see how thin this is compared to Oop. those. Yeah, that's the, the snap-on talon grip. Yeah, as you can see, it's quite a bit thinner. Now, granted, these things are amazing. I freaking love the talon grips. But there's times, you know, when you just want a really thin profile. Now, I thought this would actually be thinner than it is, even though it is pretty thin. Um, it looked thinner in the images I was looking at, but you know, we'll see how, we'll see how it does. Uh, these are actually called radio pliers. These are NWS. Uh, a few years ago, you probably saw something that looked like these at Lowe's. Um, the made in Germany Irwin pliers now discontinued. The OEM was NWS. There's the part number. And by the way, uh, this and the Stavilla and the third thing I'm going to show you, KC Tool Co. Um, you know, KC, I think it's kctoolco.com. Casey Tools, basically. Uh, if you've been around the internet, you know who they are. Pretty awesome people to deal with. So shout out to Casey Tools. All right. All right, third up, and I'm keeping it in the bag to keep it nice. Uh, granted, except for when I throw it on the ground. 
So basically this is a Ghidorah, made in Germany, 906, you know, kneeling pad. And it was $25 off of KC Tools website and it's got my, my favorite color, that sky blue there. So yeah, I didn't own one of these. I, I actually had the strap on knee pads I used to use. I, I don't really, I didn't bring them here, but uh, I figure this pad will be handy because there's numerous times of putting my knee on the ground and now I can just throw this thing on the ground first. Okay, next up is the Mac Tools Flex Ratcheting Wrench Set in their incomparable case. Now this, oh, hold on a second. So this particular set, the Mac Tools, I, their ratcheting wrenches are known, at least the Flex heads are known for being a little bit shorter than the competition. This is actually the locking flex. So you can push that button and then adjust it to whatever position, position and it locks right away. You can mostly, you can pretty much, you can mostly operate it with one hand. Um, it's a little clunky. I'm not sure how I feel about this locking mechanism, to be honest. And it, it certainly sticks out pretty far. And actually this particular set, uh, the 15 has a defect right out of the box. So my dealer is going to replace the whole set. I said in the meantime, I can continue using this one. But yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about those and they're ridiculously expensive. All right, next up, this was kind of an impulse buy-in and to be honest, it might be a stupid one. So I already own the Matco 8 piece carbide burr set. And by the way, it's rebranded Astro Pneumatic. Now, I got a good deal on that set and it is a lifetime warranty as is this one. This is also rebranded Astro Pneumatic. Um, this is currently on sale in the Matco flyer in our area. So basically it's just your longer carbide burrs. Now the thing is, these are four and a half inches um, and they're not for aluminum. So I'm not really sure how handy these are gonna be versus just the standard ones. I think what it was that got me was, I like the case. That's probably what got me. I'm not sure. I hope these end up being useful. One of them's different than the shorter ones. I think the other ones are identical. They're just on longer sh shafts. It is what it is, guys. What can you do? All right, and next up is the first row here. Now, if you recall in a previous tool haul, I got a couple of Matco ADV sockets. They're quarter inch impacts to complete a rail. Well, I went ahead and got the, uh, the smaller set just to fill in that rail too. And again, I like the chamfer on here. You know, this transition right here. I just like that better. I mean, it's, it's rarely an issue, but I like that better than, here, I'll show you. Here's an SAE set of SunX. And I'm not sure if SunX actually changed their style to that. But yeah, so I'm not a big fan of this like bullet shape. Uh, I just don't like the way it looks. And occasionally, you know, that can present an issue in terms of clearance. You know, you gain just a little bit of clearance there like that. But I mean, in reality, it's, I don't think it's as important with these sockets because when I'm concerned about clearance, I'm usually using something like this. I don't really use the, uh, the shallow quarter inch that often. And also, I've got the, uh, oh, be right back. Yeah, I really like these quarter inch magnetic sockets. This set is grain pneumatic. Yeah, and as you can see, it has that nice, that nice chamfer. Now I know that Grey Pneumatic used to look like the Sun X, but they've updated, they've updated their sockets to look like that. Let's compare that to the uh, what size we got five. Let's compare that to the Metco. So yeah, similar. Actually, the Grey goes down a little bit further, a little bit deeper. So yeah, a lot of people say this is rebranded that or that, but you know, compare the Metco. It doesn't. They say it's rebranded. Sun X might make that set, but it doesn't look like Sun X. And it's not quite the same as the green pneumatic either, so it may all be coming out of the same factory. The bottom line is they're all nice. You can't go wrong. All right, who doesn't like old school files? And anybody who has relatives that have been in their industry or, you know, have worked with their hands probably has inherited a collection of these as well. So I just put new handles on a few of these. I've actually I had this handle for a while. It's actually interchangeable. It's what I was using, um, but it's now gonna live on this guy right here. And you can't read it, but it's made somewhere in the USA. All of these are. These I got off of eBay. I really like these things. They're like six bucks a piece. They're uh, they're Nicholson. Yeah, Cre well it says Crescent, but you know Nicholson's owned by Crescent, who's owned by Apex. So 
yada 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 this uh pretty sure this is usa it doesn't it doesn't say it on there it's an older one but mainly showing off the handles this definitely says nicholson usa and this one i actually bought a long time ago from home depot like 2004 maybe yeah anyway nicholson usa flat bastard hope they don't get flagged for that it's the name of the file guys oh and uh just because i can't help myself i wanted to compare it to these i don't quite have one like this anyway but i always like these handles i thought about ordering handles for those but they're they're so expensive it's actually it's not much more to just order a set well, depending on where you get it, um, versus just the handles. And I'm kind of curious to try out these, like, these made in Portugal ones versus the old school USA ones and see if there's any kind of a difference experientially. I doubt it. They probably all work really well. In Portugal, Spain, Madrid, all that, they have really high quality uh, products down there. Okay, I might as well show this set off. I think most people have seen this. Anyone who has a tool truck has seen this set. It's a basic set. So you got your, your smaller and your larger flat five. You've got your round. I do have another round over here. It's a little bit different. I actually have a triangular too, but it's kind of, it's small and it's long past being able to have a file handle put on it unless you chop that off or straighten it. There's a bigger one. Yeah, as you can see, made in Portugal. Part number of that set. Can you read that? SGHB F500A. Coming down the home stretch here. So I got another pair of hose clamp pliers. These are the short locking ones. They're blue point. Uh, is that the part number? I think so. Oh, yeah. HCP9, that's what it is. I actually had seen this on a coon trucking video. Um, so I figured I wanted to pick up a pair of those and my dealer had them on the truck. I went for the kind that has the same style on both sides. There's an HCP10A that has a larger cup that fits over one of these on the other side. You know, they're made for particular hose clamps. I figured these would be more versatile, having that little groove on both sides. So I went with these, plus they were 10 bucks cheaper. 24 bucks on the Snap-on truck. Hmm. Lifetime warranty. All right, next up, uh, in my dealer's area, you had a special on these. That actually, it was, they were so deeply discounted that they ended up being the cheapest I could find anywhere, warranty or not, um, at least made in USA, I should say. So basically, you got your eighth inch uh, carbide burst set. And before this, I had a set of, I got off of eBay, it was like for seven, or not eBay, uh, Amazon for like $7, like a Chinese uh, diamond coated set. And honestly, uh, outside of the case, because if you dropped it, they'd go all over the place. Um, they, they actually work pretty well. So this is a little bit, you know, this is a little bit luxury. It seemed like a pretty good deal. And I figured what the heck comes in a nice case. Those cases, they get me every time. All right, this last one, I wasn't expecting to see so my dealers had this on the truck uh, a while ago and I saw it and I passed on it. Uh, this time he got some more in and he had a discount on it. Pretty, pretty good discount. And I've got the, uh, the three eighths and the half inch, the tech angle uh, torque wrenches that they're not the metal handle, they're the, they're the plastic style. Um, and I saw this, it just looks so cool with the metal handle, it's a quarter inch. And I believe it goes from, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, 15 to 250 inch pounds, or no, five, five to 250 inch pounds. Whatever it is, it's like a super low. It starts a super low number. Um, kind of covers a good range. It fits in well with the three eighths and the half inch. Uh, super nice, and I just, I just dug the look of it and the metal handle and everything, and figured I'd complete the set. And before I knew that was coming, I went and got this up from Tecton Tools. That was kind of unexpected. And basically it's your quarter inch torque wrench. 
This is pretty nice too. It has like the collar that you uh, you pull down and you can change you know the setting on it. So that's your basic click type. Super thin head. Um, just a really nice torque wrench. And I think this is around forty dollars off of Tekken's website. And by the way, this is not the kind with the little nut on the end. Uh, ah, what the hell? We'll get it out. So yeah, this is the kind that you just pull down like this. Now these, unlike the uh, obviously the electronic and what am I looking at? Oh, yeah, 10. I want to be 10, 0. Right out there. All right, that's the zero setting on this. So with all click type, if you didn't know, always reset it. Always reset it to its zero setting when you're done with it. Oh, whoops. We ain't quite done. Got a couple other snap-on items for you. One's this. That right there is uh, it's their brand new uh, magnet strip. They've got a couple different styles. Uh, I went with the strip, but it's super heavy duty magnet. It uh, protects whatever you stick, you know, whatever you stick to it. Yeah, I'm not sure what the part number is. If anyone's really curious, I can see if I can find it for you. I'm not sure what I did with the box, but there you go. It's one of the new Snap-on magnets. And also, couldn't help myself. I had to pick up one of these mag dishes. You've probably seen it on other channels. Um, I thought it was cool the first time. I passed on it. Uh, kind of changed my mind like a couple weeks later and my dealer got some more in so now I finally got it there's a part number give me a second here so I guess I need two hands to operate it yes these are pretty neat Darian Robinson featured it on his channel I think I think uh, a couple other people did as well so you just pop that open and you got your traditional trays both sides are magnetic they're identical and so, I mean, you could do different configurations. You can have it like that. You can collapse one side. Uh, and then also, you can basically go like this and separate them. So, pretty neat. I mean, basically, at the end of the day, it's just a couple of parts trays, but yeah, it was 30 bucks. I thought it was cool. And that's my tool haul for today. Now, I can't guarantee all these tool haulers are gonna be like the last few. The last few. Uh, there's no need for it. But I can also guarantee I'm probably not gonna stop buying tools. But regardless, we're gonna find we're gonna come up with more content to keep you guys uh, engaged and grow our channel. So until then, peace.